Okay, I literally have my camera squished into a hanging plant pot that you are, this is my tripod. <laughs> I just cannot get over how much God has come through with us throughout this whole pregnancy. Oh my golly, like that's me buckling. Buckle yourself in. I have some stories for you. Now that I'm in my third trimester, I'm literally 37 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh. This is little bump update. We literally moved here in our third trimester. And as soon as we settled, it was the first time I could actually start getting things for the baby. And although I'm a minimal person, there are some things you really do need to prepare for a baby. Where's the baby gonna sleep? A pram, carrier, nappies, that sort of thing, clothes. <laughs> and I became, oh, there's a fly. That's gonna distract me. Ah! Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore the fly. And let's not pretend I just tried to kill the fly with my Bible. Okay, so as I started doing research into what sort of pram I wanted, what sort of baby bed I wanted, I became so aware of how expensive things were. And sometimes even looking secondhand, Facebook Marketplace, Vinny stores, all that sort of stuff, even then sometimes they were just like really expensive. Or they weren't maybe the, the style that I really wanted. I just became aware that I didn't have much time and there was stuff we just needed and it was building my anxiety and my worry and my fear going, what happens if the baby comes? We don't have everything we need. Since then, in the past, like I'd say two weeks, we have got everything we need for baby, like everything. Just yesterday, we got the baby bed and I'm still like riding high from how that happened. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is before I share, I'm actually gonna read a passage from the Bible. Okay, so in Luke, no, no, yes, it's in the wrong place. Nine, verse 10 to 17. I'm just gonna pick out some verses though, but it's Jesus feeding the 5,000. And I know that so many of us might know this story so well already, but like, Read it with some fresh eyes because it's just, it's so good. Late in the afternoon, the 12 came to him and said, send the crowd away so they can go to surrounding villages and countrysides and find food and lodging because we're in a remote place here. Jesus replied, you give them something to eat. They answered, we only have five loaves of bread and two fish unless we go and buy food for all this crowd. Taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them. They all ate and were satisfied. The disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. God is your provider, seriously. And then just after he feeds the 5,000 in chapter 12, do not set your heart on what you will eat and what you will drink. Do not worry about it for the pagan world runs after such things and your father knows you need them but seek first his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. I feel like I could just end right there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna dive straight in to the miracle stories that followed since moving here. So the first thing was a pram. Now, I was more concerned with getting a really nice carrier, something that I can wear the baby a lot in. However, my husband was the one that was like, I want a really good pram because I wanna go running with the baby, which I think is so, so sweet. But if you're having a running pram, the different to normal prams, you need bigger wheels, it needs to be all terrain, have good suspension, that sort of thing. And it means that they're generally more expensive. I was finding some on Facebook Marketplace for like $600 second hand. But even then I was like, that's a lot of money. And I ended up just getting so obsessed every day, looking up um, second hand places, going to Vinny stores, trying to find a pram. It was honestly getting quite overwhelming. We were having dinner together one night and my mother-in-law was overhearing me talk about needing a pram. And she sort of looks at me and she's like, oh, don't worry about that. I, I can get you a pram, I'll get you a pram. And I was sort of like, wait, huh? What do you mean? And she's like, oh, I, I know someone. I can I can get you a pram. I, don't, I just sort of left and was like, okay, cool, thanks, yeah. I ignored it because I was certain something got lost in translation between my English and her Portuguese. The very next day, she comes home with a pram. I was like, what? where did you get this from? She's a professional cleaner and cleans some very rich people's houses. And she said, oh, one of my clients, had like five prams 
And I said to her, hey, my daughter-in-law needs pram. Can I have a pram? <laughs> Apparently her kids were sort of grown up and she, my mother-in-law could tell she wasn't even using them. And literally the client who likes my mother-in-law so much was like, yeah, go for it. Pick whichever one you want. Take it. I, I, don't, I don't want them. She was just going to, I think, throw them out. So my mother-in-law just picked a random pram. Little did she realize she picked the all-terrain pram that is perfect for running, perfect for off-roading, that is so sturdy. It honestly looks barely used. I don't know that much about prams and about pram, um, brands of prams and things like that. But I thought, oh, I'll look it up so that I can learn how to use it. And lo and behold, I find out that the brand that my mother-in-law picked up is one of the like top end brand of prams that retails for like $2,000. And I got it for free. I didn't even describe to my mother-in-law what sort of pram I wanted. The very next day, she comes in with a $2,000 pram that is exactly what we need. Thank you, God. I shared in my last video as well the miracle of getting reusable nappies for such a cheap price. So if you haven't watched that one, go watch that story where I explain it there. But some other miracles we got, we got a free car seat as well. A friend reached out and said, hey, my kids are older. We're done with having the car seat. Do you want it? It's really good. We also own two vans and you need to have a car to put the car seat in, not a van. And I just thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a headache of selling a van, buying a car. Oh my gosh. And then the perfect timing, my mum messaged me and said, hey, I just inherited a car. I don't need another car. Would you like a car? So we literally also got gifted a car, like we're just gonna borrow it for a period of time, but that's great, like we have a car. We can go to the hospital and put the car seat in the car. That's been a massive blessing. Another miracle was getting a carrier. So like I said, I was doing way more research into what sort of carrier I wanted. I definitely wanna be a mum that wears her baby a lot. I've just done a ton of researches to how that can really help with breastfeeding, how it really can help with bonding, sleep, all that sort of stuff. And again, carriers can be, you know, $300, $400. You know, after getting the miracle of this pram, it just sort of really built my faith. And I was like, God, if you've done it for me once, you can do it for me again. And so I ended up reaching out to this brand that I loved. All Australian, beautiful linen design, all ethically made, a brand that is designed by mums for mums. It looks so perfect. I've heard such good reviews about this carrier. I reached out to them and said, hey, I love your carriers. I would really, really love to have one of your carriers. Could we collaborate? And they ended up reaching out and saying, yes, absolutely. We'd love to work with you. When I got that email, I was so shocked because I'm just starting out on social media. I don't have brands that are working with me or reaching out to me or anything like that. I didn't even think that that was possible. And I literally think it was like the blessing and the grace of God for them to be like, yeah, sure, pick which carrier want you want and we'll send it to you. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Such an answer to prayer. And the very last miracle story was getting the bed for the baby. And it literally happened just yesterday. <laughs> With a baby bed, there's so many different types and styles. I think there are so many cute bassinets like the Moses basket that look very Instagrammable and whatnot. But at the end of the day, honestly, sleep is my priority, not a good picture. And so I wanted to buy a co-sleeper where it's pretty much like a cot that you put right up against your bed and you can seamlessly pick up the baby, nurse them, put them back to sleep and you don't have to get up, really disrupt your sleep cycle. And I was every day looking at Facebook Marketplace, every day messaging people going, hey, I love your co-sleeper, but it's just a bit outside of my price range. Would you mind, like, could you reduce the cost anymore? And we live in a beautiful area here, but it is a small area, which means that there's not like heaps of people, which means there's not, it's not like a major city. So it means that there's not 
an abundance of secondhand items for sale. I was literally inventing, like building a bed myself. That's how desperate I was getting. I love this. It was yesterday I was in my prenatal yoga class. I was getting so distracted. I couldn't concentrate on all the stretches because my head was just going over. I need a baby bed. Maybe I could use this one. Maybe I'll just have to buy, oh, should I just get that one? Something in me snapped and I was like, no, no more. I was like, God, my mindset, this is not right. This is not biblical. <laughs> because if you have provided for me here, you will provide for me again. You tell me I do not need to worry about the clothes I wear or the food I eat, but to seek first your kingdom and all these things will be provided. So I was like, I am not worrying about this anymore. And I was like, you know what God? I got very threatening. I was like, you know what God? I am not gonna check Facebook Marketplace ever again for a baby bed. And this is just causing me way too much worry and anxiety. And I can't do it on my own, but you can. So I expect at the end of this class, you to have figured this out because I just can't. So sort of like funny and embarrassing at the same time to like reflect on my conversation. But that's how fed up I was. I was so fed up because honestly, my budget for like a secondhand cot was $50, which, you know, is pretty unrealistic. But I was set. I was like, I can find a cot. So I literally was like, God, you know my budget, you know a, the co-sleeper type of bed I want, it's on you, I'm done looking, bye bye. And then I relaxed and rested and enjoyed the rest of the class and then literally I get out of the yoga class. I look at my phone and my mother-in-law, my dear dear mother-in-law, has messaged me, do you want this? And it's a picture of a co-sleeper bed for sale near where she's working with a sign, $50, $50 for the co-sleeper. What? I call her instantly and I was like, where are you? Yes, I pick up the bed. And so long story short, we end up getting this co-sleeper for $50. It's exactly the style I want. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. I powered through all these stories really quickly, but I hope you caught the heart and the message of them. I wanted to actually end with Philippians 1 verse 6. Actually, even verse 4. No, 3. Let's just rewind. I thank my God every time I remember you. I thank God. In my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Verse 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. So that is my prayer and blessing for you to hold on to faith to hopefully be built up by these testimonies testimonies is translated apparently as god do it again so when you share a testimony it's supposed to encourage you in prayer in faith to cry out to god yes god do it again if you did it here you can do it again so take on my testimonies as your own i pray that this video builds your faith on god's goodness his kindness, his provision. He is a provider for you. He provides all that you need and to do not worry. The next video I'm gonna film, I'm so excited. It's literally gonna be nesting with me. It's taking everything that we've got, all these miracle blessings and start actually putting them around the house and getting ready for a baby because baby is coming. Thank you so much for your prayers, your support, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.